Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I am back at you again with another video. I need each and every vessel to hit that like button, hit that share button, and don't forget to subscribe. Shout out to the Galactic Family and the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Let's get right into it. They think you're not a good person, but excuse the countless attacks taken out on you on the daily basis. They think you're no good. I just want to let you know, they think you are no good. They think you're horrible. They think you are a horrible person. They think you have no soul. They think you're not good. They think you are a bad, terrible, awful, unbalanced, unstable, possibly even mentally unhealthy or crazy person. But guess what? You don't care because you know how to keep yourself under control. You know how to stay level and stay cool because of the countless attacks. So at one time, you might have appeared one way. You might have seemed one way. They may have been able to look at you one way. But you bypass all of that with the work that you put on yourself on the day-to-day -day basis. And they like to play you for insane. They like to pull the sanity card. It's the best way for them to dismiss you. You see what they're up to physically, spiritually, mentally. You know that they're the crazy one. So the best way society can shut people up, put an end to whistleblowing, and stop people from putting out truth, which is extremely powerful, is they can make you think that you're a bad person. That's right. They can make you think you're up to no good, which actually causes you to lose progress. Instead of putting that time and, and, and effort on to working on something, you now are trying to figure out what's wrong with you when there's nothing wrong with you. So even when you don't think they're wasting your time and you're self-improving, they have you becoming better in areas that you're already great in areas that you're already fantastic at. So what they meant to you for bad, God truly meant to you for good. They can try to make you think you're a bad person all they want. But when a good person is manipulated into thinking that they're no good or bad, it's only going to backfire on the enemy because that good person is going to take that power and that presence of God in them and they're going to multiply it. And they're going to, whatever they think is wrong, they're going to get it out of them. So you're basically, this is how good people end up being right. And this is how your intuition ends up getting stronger. And this is how you're able to tell who's not a good person, who's crooked, who's awful, and who's a bad person. You're easily able to see these things. You're easily able to tell who's bad, who's bad, who's not good, and who you should stay away from. Because of all this walking on eggshells, all the manipulation into thinking that you're not who you think you are. And that's just, that's just them truly and honestly manipulating a good person. Somebody that doesn't have to be perfect, but someone that abides by universal law, someone that leaves people alone, someone that treats other people the way they want to be treated, someone that doesn't gaslight people and try to use mental manipulation against others. Straight up, just evil, all right? So they think you're not a good person. That's too bad. They want you to think that you aren't who you think you are and you are so sure of yourself. It burns them up inside. 
You're sure of yourself. You know that you're a good person. You know that you're not out here to do any wrong. You know that you're not out here to commit any crimes against other people. There's nothing that you do wrong. They can't find anything wrong with you. They can't find any faults that you have. Nobody's perfect. We all have things that we know individually we need to work on. But what uh, what of that is their business? Because they're not left out in that. They could point the finger and say it's something wrong with us, but it's something wrong with everyone. No one is perfect. But that's the thing. We're not pointing the finger at anyone. We're constantly evolving, constantly improving, constantly working on ourselves. We don't have time to point the finger at someone and say what they're doing is wrong unless it's actually happening and it's actually wrong and it's not right. Uh, it, it, we don't have time to, to make up stories and lie about people, but people who lie have time to say you're lying and making up stories about them. You're just making that up. Anyone that make that anything that's true to you and a person comes along and says, you're just making that up and you honestly, in your heart of hearts, you know that it's not being made up. That person is the devil. That person is a manipulator. That person is trying to get you to, to be gaslit into thinking that you, you're, you're not experiencing what you are when indeed you are, you know, that you're experiencing certain things and you know that people are acting in ways that they shouldn't. And that's not your fault that you see it. But when you tell the truth, be prepared for backlash because they think you're not a good person. When you stand up for yourself and you show these people that you're not afraid of them and you're willing to tell them to their face that what they're doing is not right and they have to listen to all the evil that they do. They have to listen to all the negativity that they do. They're not going to want to hear it. Now I know why when I, I do my videos in certain areas, there are noise campaigns. Now I know why when I do my videos in certain areas, people get mad, slam doors, get upset. Demons come out of them because not only do they not want to hear what I'm saying, but they have so much darkness in them, they can't force themselves to hear what I'm saying because the demons are getting angry because the, the truth is coming out. The truth is shining light on the evil inside of these people. That's why they can't stand this message. That's why they don't like to hear you play my videos because they can't stand the truth. And they want to claim you as being a bad person and not being a good person. Last time I checked, good people are those who leave others alone and that don't try to bully other people, that don't try to harass other people, that don't try to start trouble with other people. And then when they go to fix it and handle it and make you stop messing with them, point the finger at them. And that's why it's no point in retaliating, because as soon as you go to handle it like a gangster, handle it like a man, they they. This is going to be all, it's going to be, you're going you're gonna to have 20 people to deal with. Flashing, flashing, lights, lights. <laughs> the minute you go all out, like you, you trying to hold back from doing, you already know what time it is. But people like to play around with that. They like to test that and they like to explore and just, just experiment and see how far they could push you. They're lucky we're not living in, in a righteous time. That like evil are, is lucky that we are not living in the times of righteousness because you, you would have law. Any fear you have towards these kind of people, your common sense would have made you lose that a long time ago because you would have you would have done to them like in the book of Eli. You did. Oh, you did me wrong. Death penalty. You, you like like there's man. Anyway, it, it, it would it would have been some it would have been some some lives taken behind them trying to play with a child of God because you know righteousness. The the acts that they commit, you you you'd have took care of that. We 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 would have taken care of that righteously and justly. 
but they think you're not a good person because you may have an attitude. They think you're not a good person because you don't hold the door for people. You don't, you don't ask people how they're doing. You don't want to talk to people. You don't want to be nobody's friend. Oh, no. But they disregard the countless attacks being taken out on you on a daily basis. It's like a lot. When, when a person is in warfare, they're jumpy. When a person is in war, they're on edge. People came back from Vietnam not being able to hear loud noises, door slams, you know, banging. Don't let them have a gun. They, they're going to hop right back into war mode from PTSD. But people love to gaslight others. And people love to play with the things that people are going through like it's nothing. And that's how you know people may be going through something, but they're not going through what you're experiencing. If you understand what I'm talking about in this video. They think you're not a good person because you, 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 you won't allow them to abuse you and then let them smile in your face and you won't smile back. That's crazy. They think you're not a good person, but they they think you're not a good person because they're mentally ill. What they think is good is actually bad. They have a mental illness. There's mental illness in society. Trust and believe it. There's mental illness in society. It's just nobody's talking about it. Nobody's talking about the people who appear to be mentally healthy, but are bat-ish crazy because of how they interact and deal with other people. But that you'd have to get, you'd have to get spiritual if you if you if you started to talk about that those instances because it's a negative force that's pushing these folks to act like that. That's not normal. It's not normal for people to look at somebody that they know is good and someone that they know that God views as good. It's just like Job, God's humble servant. You are like Job. You are God's humble servant, and they still find fault with you. Why? Because you don't carry that demonic spirit. You're not under demonic possession. You don't fit in the club. You don't have you don't have a speck of, of, of evil or negativity in you. That that is not being used for righteousness. There's a season for everything. There's a time for everything. They think you're not a good person because you won't do what they want. They can't, they can't manipulate you into doing what they want you to do. So you're not a good person. Oh, well, B -b 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 bad, bad to the bone. It's time to be bad to the bone, but bad for God. It's time to be bad for righteousness. It's time to, oh, I don't like, it's time to not be liked by people. It's time for people to have a problem with you. It's time for people to think you're not a good person. Because we living in the days of Noah. Everything is backwards. We living in upside down land. You got evil portraying itself as good and good being portrayed as, as mentally unstable. You got people who are, are fighting for their life and fighting for their, their sanity, fighting for their people, my, peace of mind as being unstable. And then you have people who are mentally healthy that are able to point the finger at those and say, this person has a problem. But no one's no one's taken into regard this person's lifestyle and how toxic it is and how crazy this person might be. If you if you have a different type of thought or if you're different today, you're one of the most sane people that you know. People hate these evil these evil wicked spirits. They hate your sanity because you can tell what they're up to and you can see the type of person that they are. You see straight through them. They have to pretend that what you're seeing is not what you see. So that way you'll be unsure of yourself. They're fake. Evil spirits are fake. Wherever you see a fake person, an evil spirit is not too far off. Wherever you see a fake person, an evil spirit is not too far off. And they want to call you fake because you have to learn how to deal with their manipulation. They manipulate you into doing things you may not be comfortable with. As soon as you come to your wits and you say, no, you're fake. You should have never said yes in the first place. Be as fake as you can be when people are trying to manipulate you. Oh, it's time to be fake. When these people manipulate you, be fake. Don't You can't be real with fake people. You got to play the game. You got to be fake right back. 
not in terms of lying, but in terms of saving yourself and getting out of situations you should have never been in in the first place. It's time it's time for you to 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 manipulate some people when you see people trying to manipulate you because at that point it's self-preservation. It's time it's time to put on a front to get out of negative situations. It's time to put on a front to get away from negative people. If you, if you can whatever card you when people are trying to play with you and be fake and be manipulative, whatever card you can play to keep your job and not um not play yourself as far as your moral integrity or not downplay your moral integrity. You got to put on a fake smile and have a little two minute fake hello conversation. Hi, how are you? Are you okay? Good. You having a good day? Amazing. If you got to put on your little fake show for people, just do what you got to do. All right. Do what you got to do, man. They think you're not a good person. As soon as you see people trying to manipulate you and play games, you play as many games as you can right back. To maintain your sanity, to maintain your peace, to maintain your finances, all while building something for you or all while looking for something else. And people think I'm playing. This is why I always talk about starting something up for yourself. This is why I talk about doing what you need to do, putting in time before before work, putting in time after work. I know you may not want to wake up early. I know you may be tired. I know you might want to lay down and chill after you get off work. I know you may be tired. But the thing is, the games that people are playing, if you want to be able to remove yourself away from them and out of them, it's a certain you you, you got to go overtime. You got to go overdrive until you're able to chill and shack it out. And you could just chill, have your own place and not have to go do nothing for nobody. All right, because they think you're not a good person, but excuse the countless attacks on you. These are the people who smear campaign. These are the people who are slandering. They will smear campaign you and slander you and lie on you all because why you tell the truth all because why you're not evil and you don't have the negative energy in them that they have in you that they have in them. See, they could talk to whoever they could agree with, rub shoulders, get opportunities because they're on the negative. They're on a negative equal frequency. Y'all know what I wanted to say. They're on a negative frequency. And the people that they resonate with are also evil. So when they go to these jobs, of course, they're going to be able to stay. Of course, they're going to be able to get hired. Of course, they're going to be able to F with other people. They, like There are people at jobs to where it's an unwritten rule in place to where when someone's at a certain job, the type of energy that they have, everybody's on attack mode against this person. And everybody is sub everybody is shoved subject to treat this person like dog spit and treat this person horrible and treat this person dirty. Why? Because it's an unwritten rule, uh, evil and negativity. Oh, we could treat this person however we want. We know this person's nice. He wants to kill us, but he's not he's not trying to go to jail for for uh, murder. If we were living in, in biblical times, you'd be a warrior right now. And no, I'm not telling you to go out and harm anyone. No, I'm not telling you to go out and throw your life away because we're not living in biblical times. The world is backwards. You can't war for righteousness. You can't war for peace without having your life being thrown away and years taken from you and stolen from you unrighteously. You have to be meek. In these days and times. And that's why the meek shall inherit the earth. Because all these evil bastards are going to suffer in the name in the name of the Lord. These evil bastards are going to get theirs. All right. They think you're not a good person, but disregard the entire the whole entire town attacking you. You can't even go to the store without experiencing street theater, companies, police officers, townspeople. People, the people who work for the council or the people who drive around in those unmarked vehicles with the town emblem, just just spending all day watching other people live their life, harassing and stalking certain certain members of the town. Uh, 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 good Samaritans just going to the store and coming. I got to get harassed going to the store and coming back. What am I doing that's bothering you besides just being out, being alive and having the sun shining on my face? They think you're not a good person because you won't submit to the evils. You won't give in 
You won't stalk other people. You won't harass other people. You won't live your life like it's over. You'd rather live your life like it's golden, like like your like your Jill Scott or something. Living your life like it's golden, golden. Shout out to Jill Scott. You rather live your life like it's golden, not live your life like it's 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 a piece of crap. If if you don't get on the I'm nothing frequency, these demons gonna come up against you. If you don't get on the my life is over, let me let me go uh destroy myself with, with some type of, of of thing I could go purchase, you know, if uh, or or if I could just, you know, uh give myself cancer. If you don't want to give yourself cancer and, and hate yourself, then you're not a good person. If you think evil is wrong and it's not good to talk about people behind their back and spread rumors and spread lies, you're not a good person. If you don't spread rumors with these people and gossip with them, they know they can't trust you. If you don't get on that frequency of evil and rumors and lies and gossip, they you're, you're, the, you're the next target. If you show them that you don't find certain things funny or comical or hilarious because you got a moral compass inside you, oh, trust and believe they're coming after you next. But we don't we don't give a a, a good darn what they think. We don't give a, a good darn what they think. All right, I gotta keep the ads on my videos. All right, I, I'd curse it up if I could, but you know I, I got some people. Well, actually, I wouldn't. It may slip out every now and then. Depending on how serious things get, you know, different generation. Please excuse me. I'm from a, a different generation. All right. But I know there are some people who are I respect dearly that watch my channel, you know, shout out to Esther. They don't want they don't want to see no. They don't want They don't want to hear me curse, man. So it's like I, I'm respectful to everybody. I know this is my channel, but I know there are other children of God that are higher ranked up than myself that are elders that watch my channel that I highly respect. So I'm going to watch my mouth. All right. Because that's just what time it is. But anyway, they think you're not a good person, but oh, well, go to hell and hell's in the Bible. That's no curse. Like, like the people who have lost their mind are in charge and you have to understand that they can get dressed. They could dress real nice. They could put some cologne on. They could smell real good. They could pay mortgage, pay their bills, take care of themselves, go grocery shopping, get their hair cut, look presentable, be professional, and still be bat ish crazy. They could still have a mental illness. Mental illness can appear healthy. Yes, it can. Mental illness can appear mentally healthy. That's one of men, that's one of the devil's greatest tricks. These people working for the devil and want to point the finger at us and say we ain't stable. We are stable. You talking about people who are unstable, given a, a a a stable pass, are able to say you're unstable. Here's here's the devil's which uh, here's the devil's um. What's what are those things called? A uh, cocktail. Here's the devil give you a whole the the devil's cocktail whole bunch of uh, uh, medicines to throw off your, your biochemistry so you'll never get another download or be able to connect to the most high ever again. Go out in nature, it won't even be the same. You, you, they, want, they, want, they want you to be a, 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 a fake plant out, out in the woods or something. All these fake plants out here, they want you to be a plastic green plant. Don't, just, just, just nothing. No growth, no death, no new life, no nothing. That's them. They're the plastic plant. They don't die. They don't be reborn. They don't go through nothing. Just plastic, fake, artificial, 3D printed. They think you're not a good person, but to hell with what they think. Nobody cares about what they think. What they think is not important. But the thing is, when they can fool others into feeling the same way, it becomes something for you to have to care about. Because one person not liking you, you could brush your shoulder off on that. A whole group of people not liking you, that's going to be, that's, that's psychological warfare. That's gang stalking. That's mental manipulation. That's something that you're going to have to deal with and come to a point to where you can find peace within yourself. 
because of the evils that are taking place. They think you're not a good person, but you care about others. You care so much about other people, you wouldn't do this to them. See, they think you're not a good person because you won't lay down and die. You don't, You won't let them absorb all your energy. You won't energetically interact with them the way they want. You won't energetically react with them the way they wish. They want to have power over you, control you, and turn your life into nothing. And they want you to lay down and let them do it and have power to do it and give them the power to do it. That's crazy. You, you, you can't go throughout the day without somebody trying to control you. We are living in a backward world. We are at backwards land, upside down world, upside down land. The meek shall inherit the earth, man. And the time is coming. We will, we, this, we, we will have domain. And this is now I understand by what the Lord means by meek. Not weak, meek. People who obey. People who understand I need to treat people the way I want to be treated. People who understand I don't have to manipulate nobody. I can get everything that I want by just attacking life. Going after what I want. People who manipulate are lazy they rather fight other people than fight for life. And they even they don't even fight for, for what they want. They do it in a covert, malignant, narcissistic way. Let me just manipulate and fight people that way. Let me, let me be covert, passively aggressive. Get people to do what I want. Force people to do what I want. As soon as they tell me, no, they're not a good person. If I can't manipulate them to do what I want, they're not a good person. Somebody tells me, no, I'm going to be upset for a little bit. I might feel some type of way for a little bit. Might even voice my opinion. But after a little bit, I'm be like, you know what? I don't care. I can accept this. Hey, no is no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to make the person's life hell. I'm not, I'm not going to try to destroy somebody because I, I can't. I can't get what I want. Or I can't have things my way. I'm going to destroy you because of that? No. I'm going to destroy that spirit that got angry or that got upset. Or or, or that, that spoiled spirit that's upset because it's some type of it's something attached to me that feels like it deserves something. No, you got to earn that. No, you got to work for that. No, nobody's going to just give you anything in this world. You got to make something out of yourself. That's, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kill that spirit and I'm going to make something out of myself. I'm going to tell that spirit to go to, I'm going to tell that spirit to go to Hades. I'm going to kill that, all the negative spirits on you. You're supposed to be waging warfare on yourself and you're supposed to be exposing yourself to you and getting rid of the negative attributes you have individually. So you telling me a person like that, a person like you, a person like us, isn't a good person? We live in a backwards world. Get your ticket to enter the theme park. Do you have a membership? This is backwards world where everything is MF and backwards. You got good people seen as bad and bad people seen as good. We live in a world now where you got people who are killing people getting um, glorified. Death is glorified where people who want to live life, they get persecuted and crucified if, if you believe in good or righteousness they're gonna crucify you like they did christ better keep it to yourself or or if you don't find a way to find a way to um find a way to make it a lucrative situation for yourself start you a business something because you know they they like this is the stuff that get you wonder why you don't get hired certain places it's because of this. You could be blacklisted. You could be blackballed. They could, oh, well, he doesn't obey or he won't He won't let you control him or he won't let you use him the way you want to. Why should you? All you have to do is enough. You don't have to do anything over your requirements. You don't have to do anything that's out of your jurisdiction or out of your job description. Or you don't have to do anything, period. You don't have to do anything that's not you. They want to force you into making things that aren't you, you. They want to make their problem 
your problem. And when you don't lay down and let them wipe their feet on you and wipe their ish on you and wipe their dirt onto you, you're their problem. All because you won't bow down, obey, listen, and be good the way they want you to. If you won't be good like a dog, like a pet, like something that they can own, use, and manipulate, then you're of no use to them. But once you realize that a game is being played on you and you're supposed to stand up and speak up for what's right and what you won't stand for, you don't sit down for, and you stay standing, oh, to what? You, you want to speak out on the attacks on you? You're a bad person. You don't like they feel you're just supposed to be attacked, accepted, like it and shut up. But no, you don't get to treat people the way you want and expect them not to have an opinion. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Continue to be a good person. Don't let these loser a-holes manipulate you. And I will see all you beautiful children of God with your halos on. All right. Ripping the horns off yourself. Defeating your own devils, defeating your own demons in the next video. Peace, love, and light. We are out. See you next time.